the Shinobi Do game on PSP is the direct sequel of the PS2 title. In Shinobi Do, you are a member of the Asuka Ninja tribe who have recently rebuilt their village after the events of the first Shinobi Do title and you undertake a series of missions for each leader, Akame, Ichijo and Sadame, to try to bring balance back to the region. But don't worry, the story isn't important in this game. Not only that it does little to move the overall plot forward, but the story is told through some lifeless text screens in between missions, which do little to give the world any feeling of life. And this extends to the gameplay as well. The game focuses on insignificant plot points like the three factions stealing swords or kidnapping princesses from each other. You get assassination missions too, but you also get missions like in the PS2 title where you have to carry boxes or escort someone. There are also destruction missions where you end up killing an entire village worth of enemies. But since this is a stealth focused title, once you get into close combat you can see the imperfections of the gameplay in what the combat is concerned. Here you notice even more the janky controls that are counterintuitive. You will need a lot of time to get used to the controls. Also in the game you get multiple playable ninjas but they feel just thrown together. You don't get any backstory for them, which leaves you not caring much about them. In what the graphics are concerned, they are kind of a shame. This is not a PS1 port. This is a game specifically developed for the PSP. The character models look really good, but the environments don't look that well. And the poor draw distance makes some missions unnecessarily difficult. The AI is similarly inconsistent, although it's amusing to see the different factions take on each other, or bears in the wild. The AI is generally pretty stupid, which is good for you if you want to easily escape when you get spotted, but if you expect some intelligence from the enemies, just don't. Overall, the game is very rough around the edges, and it takes a lot of time to get used to. But in spite of its severe lack of polish, it's a good stealth game that offers 5 to 6 hours of gameplay and some even say that they returned to replay this title. No matter that it has a filler story in which nothing important happens, you play as a character you don't care for, have many frustrating moments along the way, people on the internet say that they would return to playing this game. It might be hard to get used to the game, but it seems that it grows on you and you will end up liking it, if you insist on playing it.